Goeiedag, goeiemiddag, good evening and welcome back to my channel. Before I do the rest of my introduction, yes, I know I am late. I am very late with this video. I wanted to do this video when the song first released, but then life happened and my other reaction video got blocked twice. Go check out my Mikitsune. <laughs> Reaction video for wave metal and then you'll see what I mean with I got blocked twice if not thrice So I was really planning to do this when it released the 26th of October I planned to do this but that didn't work out because of Reasons and I wanted to do a proper reaction video So we're going to do the link and sync thing, but enough about that. My name is Tian. I'm 27 years old I'm in Pretoria and this is Ryan everyone and today's reaction will be on Stray Kids' Double Knot. I have been wanting to do a Stray Kids reaction video for years and years and years and years and years now. And one of the reasons I haven't done it is because the reaction I did on Twice's Feel Special was somewhat of an epic fail because I got hit with copyright claim in your face. BAM! Copyright claim. And then it got blocked in many many regions and countries so I wasn't sure how to do a reaction video properly without getting blocked and of course I do want people to see the reaction and share in the discussion about the music video so I learned about the link and sync thing and I've been trying it once or twice with my baby metal reaction videos please go check it out and so now we're doing it today we're doing it with the Stray Kids I'm very excited I hope this turns out well and I hope you guys like it and another reason why I did it was with all the news and stories coming out about Woojin leaving the group. Um, I really wanted to do this before that blows up and before Stray Kids becomes a little bit different without Woojin, as Woojin was kind of a big part. Well, all of them are a big part of it, but Woojin, I know he carried. Yeah. <laughs> I'm let, let's, not, let's not go into those types of things, but. Before we go in further into that, please follow me on my social medias. My Twitter is at Tianki7 and my Instagram is... Oh, I can't talk. And my Instagram is at und underscore edited. Is it underscore? Is it underscore? Oh, well, that line. Well, you'll see it on screen. So the reason I think why I'm nervous is because I want this video to do well. Um, I really have much love and respect for this nine group or now eight group member band. At the beginning I didn't like them. Let me just give you some background. At the beginning the first song I heard of them was Halivator. And I was like, this is a dumb song, I don't like it. And then as it kept pop popping up or YouTube kept suggesting it on my playlist and just popping up and I started to like it more and a bit more. I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. I'm getting into Stragies, getting into Halivator. But I didn't really know them, know them. I just, like, I knew Halivator. And then they came out with District 9, I was just remember I, I was sitting at work and I was just going through a random YouTube playlist or YouTube suggestions. And then as I was working, this song just started. And I just fell in love and I think I stopped the video, I stopped working, I went onto YouTube and I actually started the video from the beginning. Because I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then since that day, since District 9 came out, I fell in love with this group completely. They have delivered... Every album they've delivered something new, something original, new sounds, new everything, and their music videos. <laughs> I mean, Korean bands go all out for their music videos, but the conceptualization that takes place with their music videos is always just so, so, so well done. So I'm very excited to see what they did with Double Knot. I must say, the previous... Uh, album wasn't my favorite, I will be honest. Um, but I still liked most of the songs, but I wasn't, yeah, it, yeah, it was, it was just a little bit weird. It was just, they were trying something new and I still need to get used to it, but I still have it on the playlist, of course. <laughs> it's striking. It's really okay, I'll stop talking now. So we're going to do the link and seek. I'll count you in. Down below is the link to it. I'll also put down the feel special link. <laughs> if you will be able to watch it is... A completely different conversation. So I got my headphones so that we don't get because I got copyright claims on sound and visuals and everything so I cannot hear anything. I will try my best not to scream my reaction as yeah yeah so I'll count you in. Uh, I'll put line link down below. I'm watching the music video 
because I'm excited to see the music video. And they dance. Oh, they dance. Okay, let me not get into that. Mm, I'm so excited, but I'm also so nervous. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Hana. Okay. Oh, no, no, not play, not play, don't play. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, okay. Hana. Dul. Se. Shijak. Okay. The keys. Okay. It's a, it's a softer beginning than most of the other things. It's like it's slowly pulling you into the music video. It's a kind of mystery. Oh, that was cool. Wow. They're flipping between characters is amazing. Okay, we're heading into the chorus. Okay, I see where they're going with this. Yeah. Their transitions from one uh, member to the next is fantastic. And yeah, this is a lot softer than a lot of the other things. And their costumes are just always fantastic. Okay. And the choreography, I cannot get over the choreography every time. I can't believe like one of them is leaving. They were really just an amazing group. Hmm. I love their costumes when they're in the warehouse. This formal, but they're not going to, I don't know. I love it! <laughs> mm. Okay, I guess the keys will be like a theme, as I know they love doing themes. I'll stop screaming. <laughs> they love doing themes and love carrying things to all the other music videos or within an album they've got like a storyline which a lot of artists these days they don't do anymore oh that was amazing that was amazing mother the owners of play you make straight kids day mm, i'm very happy to be a stay i'm not a part of a lot of fan groups and fan bases with fan names but i'm very happy to be a stay like really really happy and that was just amazing again <laughs> This group has this way of always bringing out something new. They've got an overall theme and vibe and feeling. It feels like they're sitting there like, this is our theme, this is our vibe for this album, and then they just start and they carry it throughout. With their previous album, um, they broke away a lot from the heavy dancing pop and they really start to move more into I almost want to say a more vibe or vibe driven album and music where with this one actually specifically is that singing is so minimal and keeps it feels like with al every album they start to move away from the vocals and start to focus more on the rap which I have no problem with I'm not the biggest fan of rap but when it comes to Stray Kids, I think they actually want me over to enjoy rap or 
trap. I don't know, I don't, I don't know these technical terms at all. But they actually made me enjoy it so much more, and specifically them, and this is really... From what you see from Halivator, from grrr, I mean grrr was this in-your-face, hard-hitting, intense piece, and now they moved, what, three, four years later, they move into this double knot, which is... Just this sit down, mellow, enjoying the beats that they're throwing you. Like I said at the beginning, it's softer, it draws you in. It's not that head pumping where you just want to dance to every song. It's really. I'm interested to see what they will do next, but I mean, with Wuja now leaving, yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to do with that now and how things will be changing now with him leaving yeah with uh, if you do a reaction video and, and this it's this consistency with the members it's easy but now it's like I'm I want to do a reaction but also I'm a bit confused because I don't know how this will change the dynamic but I'm excited to see the album I'm excited to see what they will do with the rest of the songs are they going to keep it this join you in sit back mellow vibe or will they still have those deeper not deeper song, but those fun poppy songs that they usually did. Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. Because if I think of the previous things, or actually one thing that I will say that I love about Stray Kids is that not all their songs is a freaking love song. I get so frustrated when a group only has love songs. What I appreciate about Stray Kids is the songs that they write and produce and make mostly themselves always have a deeper message or meaning that people can relate to. It's not about love, it's not about finding someone. It's actually there's a deeper meaning with, I mean, especially with, with a song like Voices and also District 9 that oh, just those deeper meanings they put in their songs about society, about living, about being human or the struggles we face as humans i just appreciate that so much more um if you've seen any of my reaction videos with baby metal you'll know that i'm not a big fan of go looking at the english translations of a song just because i enjoy the song for what it is and the meaning that i get from watching the music video of course if there is a music video then sometime i'll go but otherwise i just enjoy what it sounds like i enjoy the sound the lyrics usually come with, or if they do come with, I'll check them out, but I won't go out and really go look them. I don't know, it's just, I just enjoy the music for what it is. The meaning I get from it is my meaning, it's my personal relationship I have with the song. This music video, again, it was... Hmm. It wasn't as intricate as some of the other things I've done before. Again, if you think of District 9, if you think of Mirror... Uh, those are very intricate. This one, they had three or four locations, and then the intricacies was more in them doing the transitions. The dancing is always on point. I cannot, I've never once faulted them on any of the dance because the dancing is always on point. It always suits well, it's always well done. I'm trying to think of something negative to say, but I can't. I can't think of anything they have to say. They really just hit it out of the park each and every time. And I think what wins me over with them every time is I can enjoy the music, I can appreciate the dancing, but if a concept is well executed or if a concept is woven through from beginning till end and they've actually had this concept from... Um, I'm still watching their... how they were formed or when they were formed, the Stray Kids... Um, show that you can actually watch how their whole making of Halevator, I'm still watching that but if I look at what I've seen there and what they've done, there is this certain theme that they've woven through it and it's, it's really a theme of humanity and being human and being alive, it's not about love, it's not about being cute or poppy or being attractive or having this difficult life, it's really really just this honest portrayal of this is what we've been going through or this is what our fans have been going through or this is what someone's been going through look at it, let's talk about it, let's sing about it, let's make music about it and I think that theme 
that they've woven through is, I think, something that I appreciate the most because stray kids always feel like stray kids even when they're trying something different and that's something I appreciate. There have been bands that have ventured out into new sounds and new things and they just couldn't keep their authenticity. They felt like they went, either they went fully into the mainstream and they lost their authenticity or they just lost who they were. They lost their uniqueness in a sense, that's almost terms of authenticity, but the Stray Kids, they venture out, but still they keep that Stray Kids vibe there, and I can always, always, and will always appreciate that. Uh, I think I'm going to end it there, I'm not sure how long this video is, but I'm going to end it there. Uh, what's your thoughts and feelings on the music video, on the band, what do you think about Woojin leaving? It really, really sucks. Um, but we'll have to survive it. Uh, if you like this video and like my reaction, please comment, like, share, subscribe even, watch my other videos, go show me some love, show me some support. If you want me to react to anything else, please let me know. Um, I will try to do more reaction on Korean artists or specifically artists that I enjoy. Um, I am busy now with my baby metal, which is Japan, I know. For people that get offended, I know, but metal is Japanese, I know, I'm doing Korean things now, but it's still part of my channel. Uh, so if you want to check that out, go check it out. I've got a whole playlist of my way people things. If you check out my other videos, let me know in the comments what you think, what you feel, what you thought. Just give me a thumbs up, I've said all those things already. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, afternoon, business trip, vacation, wherever you are. I really hope it's a fantastic day. Please remember, don't forget that don't let fear interfere with your happiness. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Gritte liefde, vrede, vreugde, langer, zin, liefde, en allemaal mooie dingen. Bye!